Hey guys, so I'm be doing a makeup tutorial using the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. This eye look is a simple smoky eye, so it'd be great for any occasion. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. To hydrate my face, I'm going to be using the Clinique Gel Moisturizer and I'm going to be applying this all over my face. To hydrate my lips, I'm going to be using my Carmex Lip Balm and I'm going to be applying this all over my lips. Next, using the Bosha No Pores No Shine T-Zone Treatment, I'm going to be applying this all over my face to give me a nice space for my primer and the rest of my makeup. I'm going to be taking the Becca Backlight Primer and I'm going to be applying this to my face to give my face a nice luminosity. And this primer is really good if you want to give your face a nice glow. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation and I'm going to be using my Morphe brush to apply this all over my face. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking the Master Conceal by Maybelline and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush to be applying this. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, and under my contour lines. To set the foundation and concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder and I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and I'm going to be applying this all over my face. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Glam Bronzer and I'm going to be using my Morphe Tapered Brush and I'm going to be applying this to my contour lines, my forehead, and my jawline. Moving on to blush, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Blush in Vibrant and I'm going to be using an angled blush brush and I'm going to be applying this to my cheeks.
For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Becca Highlighter in Opal and I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques fan brush and I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer and I'm going to be applying this to my eyelids and I'm going to blend it out with my finger. To make the colors pop more, I'm going to be taking the NYX eyeshadow pencil in Milk and I'm going to be applying this to our eyelids. To blend it out, I'm going to be using my fingers. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Matte Palette and I'm going to be using my Morphe brush and I'm going to be mixing the shades Chocolate, Corduroy, and Latte and I'm going to be applying this to the crease and the outer V. Taking the shade Burgundy, I'm going to be applying this to the crease and outer V to deepen up the crease more and to give it a nice smoky effect. Taking the shade Pink Mauve with my e.l.f. brush, I'm going to be applying this to my inner lid. Using a clean Morphe brush, I'm going to be blending out all the colors to make the colors look nice and seamless. After blending out your eyeshadow, this is what it should look like. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Powder in Granite, and I'm going to be taking my small angled brow brush from Real Techniques, and I'm going to be applying this to my brows. Using a spoolie, I'm going to brush my eyebrows out to blend all the colors in. I applied a Sephora gel liner on my upper lid off camera, but I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs eyeliner and I'm going to be applying this to my upper and lower tight line. I'm going to be quickly curling my lashes to get ready for mascara. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and I'm going to be applying this to my upper and lower lashes.
Finally, for lips, I'm going to be using my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Vintage, and I'm going to be applying this to my lips. This is what the final makeup look should look like. As you can see, it was nice and easy to get this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you later. Bye!